In our last episode, we mentioned that there are two primary five coordinate structures, the square pyramid and the trigonal bipyramid. Egyptian pyramids have survived for more than 4,000 years. One pyramid in Mesoamerica, in Teotihuacan, is nearly 2,000 years old. However, square pyramidal molecules rarely last so long. They often interconvert rapidly with a trigonal pyramidal structure. For the purpose of point group classification, we will temporarily ignore this. In the octahedron, all six ligand positions are chemically equivalent. This means that there is at least one symmetry operation that will move a given ligand to any other ligand position. This is not true for the square pyramid. There is no symmetry operation in C4V that will interchange the peak position with one of the base positions. This is likewise true for the trigonal bipyramid, or TBP for short. In TBP, there are three ligands along the equator in the equatorial positions. There are also two ligands along the axis, and we call these the axial positions. We might think of them as being somewhat analogous to the north and south pole of a sphere. There is no symmetry operation in D3H, the point group of the trigonal bipyramid, that will interchange the equatorial positions with the axial positions. So these ligands at these two positions are chemically distinct from each other. This can be demonstrated by NMR spectroscopy, for example, at very low temperatures. At higher temperatures, however, motions in the molecule lead to such rapid interconversion that on the NMR timescale, we would only see one NMR signal. First, let's look at the trigonal bipyramid where all five ligands are identical. Important examples include phosphorus pentafluoride, PF5, and iron pentacarbonyl, FeCO5. If we look here, the first thing to look for is the high order rotation axis. So if we look along the axis, along the axial position, we can see that, start this way, that if we rotate counterclockwise by a third of a turn, that the atoms line up perfectly. Therefore, we have a C3 rotation. If we try to rotate clockwise by a third of a turn, we also see that C3 to the minus one is a symmetry operation of the group. This tells us that the high order rotation axis is a C3. We also have a C2 axis. If we look along this way, if we rotate 180 degrees, you would see that we also have a number of C2 axes that are perpendicular to the C3 axis. And since we have three of these C2s, this tells us that we have a D3H group, or at least a D3 group for the time being. Which particular D3 group we have, we have to uh, further examine to look at the mirror planes. There are two types of mirrors in TBP. The mirror plane through the equatorial positions is a horizontal mirror. Since it is normal to the C3 high order rotation axis. This means that the final point group assignment is D3H when we have a trigonal bipyramid and all five of the ligands are identical. So you can see this. The purple atom is the central atom. 
and the red atoms are the five ligands and here we can see the horizontal mirror plane which is perpendicular normal to the high order rotation axis. There are also three vertical mirrors that slice through the central atom and the two axial positions. So we can demonstrate them with this type of a model and along this cleavage here we can see the one of the vertical mirrors. So we see the vertical mirror goes through the two axial positions and through the central atom which is denoted by a purple sphere in this particular case. So we can see that's vertical because it is not perpendicular to the high order rotation axis and in fact it includes the high order rotation axis. So we can see from this side also and this particular model has printed on the back side a line and a denotation showing where the vertical mirror can be found. Here we see a substituted trigonal bipyramid where one of the substituents has been changed at the axial position at the top but the other axial position continues to say as one of the red atoms. So as far as the high order rotation axis if we look along the axis like this we see that again if we make a rotation by a third of a turn that again all the atoms line up. So the high order rotation axis for this substituted trigonal bipyramid is also a C3. If we rotate in a clockwise direction we see that C3 to the minus one is also a symmetry operation of the group. So then the question becomes what types of mirrors does this particular model uh, molecule exhibit? Now if we look along the equatorial positions we might suspect that we would have a horizontal mirror but we don't because we notice that even though uh, along the plane here that we slice the equatorial atoms in half they are mirror images of each other but the yellow atom at the top is not mirrored at the bottom since uh, a mirror plane would transform yellow into yellow we see that in this case we do not have a mirror plane through the equatorial position so therefore we do not have a horizontal mirror.